This episode is brought to you by Indie Film Hustle TV, the world's first streaming service dedicated to filmmakers, screenwriters, and content creators. Learn more at IndieFilmHustle.tv. And you, and, and you worked on the film, obviously, called The Knowing with Nick, uh, with Nick Cage. Um, how is it to work with Nicholas? Because he has obviously become almost a cultural icon in the the performances that he puts out sometimes yeah. <laughs> i mean he is a very i mean i absolutely love I mean, wild at heart and i mean so many of the, i mean raising arizona all these amazing performances over the years how is it to work with like he seems like i mean i'm sure it's Nick, not but i seem i see i think he's like a lightning in a bottle you're just kind of trying to is, aim yeah. in and direct him in a, in a proper way i describe him as the ferrari of actors where our actors have you know four gears he's got six you know and, and he can go go there if you need him to you know speaking of being brave i mean this is the thing about nick and why he is such a uh, iconic guy you know um he's incredibly brave you know and and to him yeah. paramount to 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 the film is a great story you know and it's not about him looking a certain way or acting in a certain way so that the audience like him or, or, or any of those those considerations that big movie star people make, you know. Um, he will go where the story dictates, and he'll go way into where the, sto- the story dictates. You know, I say he's completely brave um, and fearless with, with what he's doing. And that's a pretty much a unique thing uh, in with actors of his stature, you know. Um, so he's a wonderful combination of old-fashioned character actor with movie star feel, you know, um, they don't make him like Nick anymore, and um, that's why he's a, he's a, he's great to, to work with. And on top of that, I mean, he's a, you know, Nick as a as a guy is he's a surrealist, you know, he has a really brilliant mind, he's uh, he's really funny, and he's to- totally aware of all this stuff that everyone's kind of been going on about with his with his um, with his over the top crazy performances. But he's trying to push the envelope into different areas to keep himself fresh, you know, and it's a, kind of exactly what I do with films, you know, like after Dark City, I made um, this thing, Garage Days, this low budget um, Aussie comedy, romantic comedy. And go figure the guy who made The Crow and Dark City would make a romantic comedy, you know. Um, and I did that for a very specific reason because. I, I want to keep exploring and pushing into new areas, and I don't want—I don't want to feel secure. I know how to do this. I, w- I want to feel nervous and like you know excited about the experimenting and coming up with new stuff. And that's very much the way Nick approaches his performances. He's he's a he's a very brave explorer of new new frontiers, you know. So it's about it's about the best thing I could say about any actor really that I that I've worked with. 